Good morning to all the respected dignitaries and listeners of this webinar. I am Kulpita Rai, lecturer of economics, Sister Nimedita University, Kolkata, West Bengal, India, presenting the topic on profitability of Indian computer industry in retro of information technology agreement. India has signed the ITA, Information Technology Agreement of WTO, in 1997. It abolished the tariff rate of 217 items gradually. In 2005, India comes under complete elimination of tariff on IT products and computer related products. The objective of ITA is to penetrate the competition of this sector and widespread use of IT products among world and also distribute the gains from trade of IT products throughout the world. The tariff rationalization implies that the cost of imported inputs for computer industry reduces. This implies that the domestic computer firm faces positive externality. It internalizes the externality by adopting high-tech imported inputs and skilled labor. Due to this positive externality, domestic firm face lower marginal cost car. Thus, the profitability of Indian computer firm increases in the post-tariff rationalization period. Again, in the liberalized market, domestic computer firm faces competition from foreign firms. Thus, there is a risk of profit fluctuation. Not only that, the date maturity structure also affects the firm's profitability in the mechanism of trade liberalization can affect investment through debt financing. Hence, the cost in terms of the interest to date should be equal to the present discount value of the return on asset which is created by the debt financing. Thus, liberalization can affect investment through marginal profitability of asset by varying both the projected sales and cost of imported inputs. And then, under the data and methodology, the, in this case, the paper has captured the profitability of Indian computer firms by applying the methodology of Haber and Kashyam 1992 to show how return on assets depends on short-term debt. For reason of convenience cross interest rates of debt as a linear function of debt and capital. And use the chain rule, this is depicted in this equation forms. And the effect of increase in short term financing relating to the long, long term financing on profitability or return on assets may be expressed as del ROA and divided by del B beta by L. And beta LT is basically short term debt and long term debt is a ratio is a function of the ratio of two interest rate long term interest rate and short term interest rate this if this ratio is less than one then this equation is positive and return on assets is positively depends on the short term debt and long term debt or uh, total debt in this context the paper has applied 51 uh, among the 37 are software and 14 hardware separately because software are basically providing the services to the clients, maintenance to the clients and cl cl clients uh, so uh, software and hardware firms are basically manufacturing units or assembling units in India. All of the firms are public limited Indian computer firms and this data is collected from CMI Pravesh database within 2000-2001-2018-19. Initially, we have tested there is any relation between the leverage and liberalization policy L is here leverage that is the liability by asset ratio to do so we have considered the dummy variable because the dummy variable captured all the time specific effects that reveals macro level changes such as credit market condition nature of trade policy and all other common factors which faced by the firms in india we consider here dummy up to 2004 that is not complete elimination of tariff on computer related products and one is otherwise. Thus the above results states that the both hardware and software sector the leverage is positively depends on the year dummy that is the significant the panel data and Hausmann test is say so that they we support the random effect model. In the next slide, we have considered the return on assets and leverage. 
is there any relations between return on asset and leverage and we all here again we use the panel data technique and we can see that yes there is a uh, both return on assets positively depends on leverage and it is also significant as Hausman test is accept the random effect model in the next slide we have estimated the result between return on asset and ratio of short term long term liability we have used methodology of Hubbard Kashyap and specified chronometric model by Baum, Safer and Talevera and used dynamic panel technique where UI is the unobserved time invariant fixed effect VT captures the unobserved common factors across units of panel that is the farms level and the light captures the time varying terms and all independent variables are cash per total assets sales per total assets short term liability and total liability and lag difference used as the instrument of label equation here we use the wild kite square or if ratio test uh, yeah, and to check whether there is a joint significant of the model and the model is significant and both for both the case of hardware and software sector the return on assets is positively significant and the short term liability but total liability sorry negatively significant the negative ratio because the return on asset is depends on liability but it is not depends on the short term liability it is depends on the long term liability liability because the firms is Indian computer firms invest all those projects which basically mature in the long term. Basically, it investing in the high tech import imported inputs and skill labors, basically which gives returns in the future. Okay. If I conclude that the Indian computer firm use debt finance to earn profit, yes, as return on profit is positively related to leverage in the post liberalization period. The firm invests in certain assets which provide returns in future automatically uh, as we see that the firms is basically investing in the imported high tech inputs in the present scenario which basically uh, and it is for the long duration they date and which gives a return in future and then present scenario the lower profit the firms is facing the lower profit and this present context as firm basically were investing in the high tech in Ported inputs by shedding of the extra lab labor and that's why the workers are laying them off from job in the current scenario and that is the my objective and my conclusion of the paper and last thanks thank you